We see about 50 to 80 patients a day. The biggest thing is making sure we can keep our kids out of pain. Our patients uh, here in Columbia and in Lawrenceburg, we do see a fair amount of uh, TenCare and Medicaid patients. But when I started, a lot of patients, uh, Caucasian patients, and uh, as we've been able to grow, we've been able to outreach into other areas, increase our minority population. I think it's really been a blessing just for a lot of the young kids to, to see a dentist that looks like them, a practitioner that looks like them. I practice general dentistry in Lewisburg. I do work in a lower income area, so you have some patients who just want to get out of pain. Then you have people who have decided they're ready to change their bad habits and they want to do what they can to save their teeth and to get their smile back. The typical day varies as a general dentist. Sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. My wife and I met in uh, MAPS of 2014. Uh, she was in my group. Uh, I had asked to be her plus one at her sister's wedding and uh, she declined. <laughs> We got married in 2016. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. uh, we moved back to Tennessee that year in 2016 after mm -hmm. we did our residency programs. I did an AEGD program in Providence, Rhode Island, and then Felix did his um, pediatric residency program in D.C. at Howard. Finished our residency programs, got married, and moved back to Tennessee in Spring Hill. There is definitely a need in the rural areas People need to be educated on what's causing their cavities and what they can do to make changes. My team that I work with, we try to be very encouraging and motivating and let people know that if they're committed, then we can definitely help them. Dentistry is so much more than just sitting down and fixing teeth. It's you have to support people. You have to be on their team and make them believe not only that you can help them, but a lot of what changes is what they do at home, taking care of their teeth and how they're eating. You should go where the patients are. Go where there's a need. Go where you'll be valued. Go where you can provide the services. A lot of people are hesitant on that, not just for the distance that they have to drive, but at the same time that they might be overwhelmed with the amount of work just because everyone's seeking their services in that area. You have the skill sets. Um, Harry's prepared you well to go out and, and work and, and, and do the work that you were called to do. I just remember uh, when we were about to graduate and Dr. Moses gave us all three dollars <laughs> and he said the first the first year's on me you put that dollar down and the next year if you guys go to residency this is the two dollars down and after that you can go ahead and and uh and continue to give and we, we did talk about it um for, for some time we did kind of debate about it um uh what was a, a a good number i went to a missions trip to jamaica my senior year I think that really was a turning point for me in gaining confidence when it came to doing oral surgery. I wanted to give back to Meharry in that way so that the students could go and not only gain um, better skill in you know, doing extractions or surgery, but just being able to give back to another underserved community. For me, I thought, um... Uh, scholarship was, was the greatest way just because I, I know that the cost of schools is, is ever increasing in, in higher education. You know, you're asked to donate money back to Meharry. It's good to remember back to when you were a student and how every little bit helped. It's very encouraging to know that alumni are reaching back and wanting to give back. What's it feel like to be a guardian? Um, it's slightly overwhelming. Uh, I think that uh, when I've seen the list in the past, uh, I never thought that this day would actually come. Uh, we used to look at that when we were back at school and, and see these names of these Meharry Giants. I think that uh, I could be up there um, listed with them. Is, I never thought it would be possible. God gives you many blessings and then hopefully we've been able to use what um, we've, been, we've been given financially to, to contribute uh, to a greater cause. Over the next few years, um, Meharry is going to be reaching its 150th anniversary. It's a great institution and it has a great legacy and we'd like that legacy to continue. We're glad our gift can contribute to Campaign 150 where scholarships is a major component. Uh, do what you can if that's your time. Give your time. If you can give your finances, um, give your finances, but find some way to give back to this institution uh, that we all know and love.